Ever wondered how Metaprolol, a common heart medication, interacts with your diet? Metaprolol, a beta blocker, is often prescribed to manage conditions like high blood pressure, chest pain, and even to prevent heart attacks. It works by affecting the heart's response to certain nerve impulses, thus slowing the heart rate and reducing strain on the heart. Now, while this medication performs a crucial role, it's important to know that it doesn't work alone. Your diet plays a significant role in how well Metaprolol can do its job. Certain foods can interfere with the medication's absorption, effectiveness, and can even lead to unwanted side effects. Being aware of these dietary restrictions when taking Metaprolol isn't just about following doctor's orders. It's about equipping yourself with the knowledge to make the best decisions for your heart health. Understanding the foods to avoid when on Metaprolol can significantly impact the effectiveness of this medication. Did you know that certain foods high in sodium can potentially interfere with the effectiveness of Metaprolol? That's right. Sodium, a mineral found in most foods, plays a significant role in fluid balance and nerve function. However, in relation to Metaprolol, sodium intake becomes a crucial factor. Metaprolol, a beta blocker used to treat various heart conditions, works by slowing heart rate and relaxing blood vessels. While this medication does a fantastic job on its own, it can be significantly hindered by a diet high in sodium. Here's why. Sodium is known to increase blood pressure. When you consume foods high in sodium, your body holds onto water to dilute the sodium. This extra stored water raises your blood pressure. On the other hand, Metaprolol's goal is to lower your heart rate and blood pressure. So you can see how a high sodium diet could counteract the effects of this medication. Now you might be thinking, but I don't add extra salt to my food, so I'm safe, right? Well, not exactly. Sodium isn't just found in your table salt. It's hidden in many foods that you wouldn't suspect. For instance, processed foods are notorious for their high sodium content. So those microwavable meals or packaged snacks might be doing more harm than you think. Canned soups are another sodium culprit. They may seem like a convenient and healthy option, but they often contain a surprising amount of sodium. Just one serving can sometimes contain more than half of your daily recommended sodium intake. Let's not forget fast food. It's a quick and tasty option, but it's also loaded with sodium. From burgers to fries to pizza, these foods can push your sodium intake over the edge. In conclusion, while sodium is a necessary part of our diet, too much of it can interfere with the effectiveness of metoprolol. Therefore, keeping an eye on your sodium intake and making healthier food choices can go a long way in ensuring this medication works as intended. A high sodium diet can hinder the effectiveness of metoprolol, making it crucial to monitor sodium intake. Did you consider that alcohol might also affect the way metaprolol works in your body? It's a thought that often escapes our minds, but it's important to understand. Alcohol has a way of meddling with medications, and metaprolol is not an exception to that rule. Alcohol can potentially diminish the effectiveness of metaprolol, making it harder for the drug to do its job. It's like trying to run a marathon with weights on your ankles. You might still reach the finish line, but it's going to be a lot harder. Moreover, alcohol might increase the side effects of metoprolol. Imagine a symphony where all the instruments are out of tune. Instead of a harmonious melody, all you get is a cacophony. Side effects like dizziness, lightheadedness, and even fainting might be amplified when alcohol enters the scene. To ensure metoprolol works optimally, it's best to limit alcohol consumption. It's not about giving up your favorite drink entirely, but about striking a balance for your health's sake. What about grapefruit? Could your morning citrus fix interfere with Metoprolol? The answer, surprisingly, is yes. Grapefruit, along with some other citrus fruits, can indeed interfere with the way metoprolol is metabolized in your body. Grapefruit contains compounds known as furanocoumarins that have a unique ability to block an enzyme in your intestines that's responsible for breaking down certain medications, including metoprolol. When this enzyme, known as CYP3A4, is blocked, more of the medication ends up in your bloodstream, which can intensify both its effects and potential side effects. Imagine it like this. You're on a highway, and metaprolol is the car you're driving. Normally, there are multiple lanes enzymes to take, allowing for a smooth, controlled drive, drug metabolism. But when you consume grapefruit, it's like a few of those lanes are closed off, forcing more cars, more of the drug, onto fewer lanes and causing a traffic jam, which can lead to unexpected detours, increased side effects. But it's not just grapefruit you need to be cautious about. Other citrus fruits such as Seville oranges, often used in marmalades, and pomelos also contain furanocoumarins and can have similar effects. It's like they also bring their own roadblocks to our highway metaphor. 
Here's the catch though. The effects of these fruits can last for over 24 hours. So even if you separate the time you take metoprolol, and when you eat these fruits, it might not prevent the interaction. It's important to note, however, that not all citrus fruits interfere with metoprolol. Lemons, limes, and regular oranges, for example, don't have the same effect. So you can still enjoy a citrus kick without worrying about your medication. In conclusion, while grapefruit and some citrus fruits offer numerous health benefits, they can interfere with how metoprolol works. By avoiding these fruits while on this medication, you can help ensure that metoprolol does its job effectively. So keep this in mind the next time you reach for a citrus fruit. Avoiding grapefruit and similar fruits while on metaprolol helps ensure the medication works as intended. Protein-packed meals are great for health, but did you know they could impact how metaprolol works? Yes, it's true. High-protein foods can interfere with the absorption of metaprolol, potentially reducing its effectiveness. But how does this happen, you may ask? Let's break it down. Protein is a vital nutrient that our bodies need for growth, repair, and maintenance. It's found in various foods from meat and dairy products to beans and nuts. However, when it comes to metoprolol, a commonly prescribed beta blocker used to treat heart conditions and high blood pressure, protein can play an unexpected role. When you consume a meal high in protein, your stomach produces more acid to break down the protein. This increased stomach acid can affect the absorption of certain medications, including metoprolol. The result? Well, less metoprolol is absorbed into your bloodstream and it may not work as effectively as it should. Now this doesn't mean you should avoid protein altogether. Protein is essential for our bodies. It helps build muscles, repair tissues, and produce enzymes and hormones. But if you're taking metoprolol, it's crucial to consider the timing and amount of your protein intake. For instance, consuming a moderate amount of protein throughout the day, instead of a large quantity in one sitting, can help maintain a steady level of stomach acid. This could potentially aid in the absorption of metaprolol, ensuring the medication works effectively. Also, you might want to avoid taking metaprolol immediately after a high-protein meal. Giving your stomach some time to process the protein before taking your medication could also help improve absorption. Remember, everyone's body is unique, and what works for one person may not work for another. It's always best to consult your healthcare provider or a dietitian to find the best dietary strategy for you. While protein is essential, it's wise to balance protein intake when on metoprolol. So, keep enjoying your favorite protein-rich foods. Just be mindful of how it might interact with your medication. Let's recap the foods to be cautious about when taking metoprolol. First up, we've got foods high in sodium. Sodium can heighten the effects of metoprolol, potentially leading to a dangerously low heart rate and blood pressure. So, it's best to limit your intake of foods like processed meats, canned soups, and fast food which are notorious for their high sodium content. Next on the list is alcohol. Consuming alcohol while on metaprolol can exacerbate the side effects of this medication, like dizziness, lightheadedness, and fatigue. If you're taking metaprolol, it's advised to limit your alcohol consumption or avoid it altogether. Moving on to fruits, specifically grapefruit and other citrus fruits. They contain compounds that can interfere with the body's ability to metabolize metaprolol, leading to a buildup of the drug in your system. This can increase the risk of side effects and potentially cause an overdose. So while grapefruits and their citrus cousins might be a great source of vitamin C, they are best avoided when you're on metoprolol. Lastly, we have high protein foods. Metoprolol is a protein bound drug and consuming a high protein diet can affect the medication's absorption and efficacy. Foods high in protein such as red meat, dairy products and legumes should be eaten in moderation. It's important to remember that everyone's body reacts differently to food and medication interactions. Therefore, these are general guidelines and may not apply to everyone. Always consult your healthcare provider for personalized advice. Also, this is not about completely eliminating these foods from your diet, but about taking a mindful approach to what you eat while on metoprolol. It's about balance and moderation rather than complete avoidance. Remember, when it comes to metoprolol and your diet, Understanding these interactions ensures your medication works as effectively as possible.